Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of my summer car. Firstly I'm gonna take off the um, grab everything mod. So guys, as you can see in the top left corner, right here, we now have almost 100,000 marks. And you know how we got that? The Finnish gods of Perkele gave us all that money. And yeah. <coughs> in the meanwhile, I. In, I what? When I was not recording, um, I just picked up all this stuff. Um, I didn't. So you guys didn't need to watch all that. So I just picked up all this stuff, filled the, this canister with fuel. Um, so yeah, filled the van with diesel. So I just um, did all that. Let's crack open a beer. Wow. Yeah. All right. So now it's time we uh, move this out of the way first because we don't need this right now. Get out of the way. So, today we are going to build the engine of the car. So yeah, um, start off with the block. Um, take all this. It's calling! Oh, damn you. Stop Oi, meidän calling. likakaivo olis ihan täynnä taase. No. Voi vittu! Voi vittujen kevä! Sahtana! Sahtana! It's my response to that phone call. Wasting my time. Always someone calling. I should just unplug the phone. But who cares? And I also got some more food in the um, fridge. But then I say, oh, Taco, what's the point when you have the mod to reset your needs like I did now? Well, you know, it's good to have. It's good to have some food, you know, in the fridge. So yeah, that's why I keep it in. Also bought some more beer, of course. Most important part of this game. Like you think that building the car is the most important thing. No, no. The beer is the most important thing. Let's put in these pistons. Oh, well, let's turn this thing over. There. It's piston one. It's there. Gotta spin these pistons around so I can put them in. Oh, I can't, I can't put them in like this. Oh, I can. Alright. Let's just do that. Now I'll turn it over again to tighten these ones in the back right here. That looks like a spanner. Six. What about um, probably seven? Phone call. Hey, oh, that's oh, all I thought. Shut up. Can't stand these phone calls. All it want me is to empty sewage wells. 
deliver flat flat woods no deliver firewood but I won't it's not what I'm doing Let's turn this over uh, there uh, so we need the camshaft now um, these uh, main bearings is an is spanner nine, and these pistons is a spanner seven. Just so you guys know that. Oh man, just need to. There we go. Finally, is this like a spanner? No. A spanner six. No. I think I need to put it like this so it's easier. Yeah. Spanner 5? Yeah, it's Spanner 5. Okay. I built this engine a few times. I know I'm doing Sora. Mostly not. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so now we'll put in the timing cover. No, 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 wait, wait. What, what, what I'm doing? We need the, uh, uh, the ca camshaft gear cam gear and the uh, timing chain it's probably like a the um, camshaft is a spanner 5 by the way and the camshaft gear is a spanner 10 Looks like spanners. No, no not sevens, eights. No, spanner six. And the uh, timing cover. Damn it! I forgot. again. Ah, we need a timing chain first. Where is it? Where I put it? There I. There it is. Nope. Fine. We need to put it. Need to put this thing on the back anyways, so it doesn't matter. Um, just assemble this. Anyways, there. Um, yeah. Now we can put the timing cover on. You want the timing cover? On, you need to put the timing cover on before the oil pan. Because I put the oil pan. When I built this, I usually put the oil pan on first, but then you can't put on the timing cover. So remember to put the uh, timing cover on before the oil pan. And this timing cover right here um, is a uh, spanner 6. Alright, that looks nice. Now we can, now we can put the oil pan on. So you can see all the bolts and stuff. There. Is, the, is this a. Oh, it's probably like a. Yeah, sp yeah spanner 8. No. Spanner 7. Yeah, it's spanner 7. So, uh, the oil pan is a spanner 7. There are four, four bolts on uh, the top and bottom. And when we're gonna put the engine in the car, we're not gonna use the engine hoist. I have a special trick. I saw this on a YouTube uh, channel. The guy's named Rocker, so I got, I'm gonna leave the link to his channel in the description below. I saw this trick uh, on one of his videos. So, yeah. Um, and now we can start with the gearbox. I like to do all, all of these things before I uh, put the um, engine head on. And we need the flywheel. It definitely takes longer to build an engine in this game than in my summer card. And it takes to build a car or an engine in um, Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. 
And I can't win till Car Mechanics in late 2018. Yeah. It's gonna be a very good game. So the uh, flywheel is a spanner 7. Has 6 bolts. Now we can put on the... What do they call this thing again? The clutch cover plate. Maybe I use a spanner eight? No. The clutch cover plate uses a spanner six. So let's just bolt these bolts up and then we can put on the uh, gearbox. Which is under here. Bam! We have the gearbox. What's the bolt for this? Spell like an 8. Or probably a 7. All of these engine parts have a spanner 7. So there are. I don't know how many bolts. And we have. Six bolts here, that's a spanner seven. We'll have bolt here and that's a well, like spanner nine or something. No. Spanner ten. Yeah. And this one right here is spanner ten. There's no one on the other side. No. I just want to check that. Alright, now we can put in the drive gear. Right there, and that's probably the spanner. Spanner 6. Yeah, Dr the drive gear is a spanner 6. There are 6 bolts and 1 nut. The nut is right here. Tighten that up. It's important that you uh, tighten all of these bolts correctly um, and remember to check over so you don't forget because if you forget to tighten them properly and the drive gear will fall off and your car will not work. And if you drive very fast and it falls off you might never find it again. So then you have to use MCS editor or my summer car editor. That's what it's called. That is what it's called. So yeah, MCS editor, aka My Summer Car Editor, it's very good to, and um, there you can edit the money. I edit the money there, and also I forgot that I had permadeath on um, when we created the, created this use right here so <laughs> I saw it there so I turned permadeath on no off it was on so I turned it off so yeah um, is this the the water pump and the water pump pulley takes um, a span of sevens Spanner 7. Now we can just put the head gasket on since we're soon going to be building the uh, engine head. And uh, now we need the crankshaft pulley. There, and that's probably like a spanner 13, maybe? Oh, it's the uh, moped outside falling over all the time. So the crankshaft pulley is a spanner 11. 
Alright, so now we have all that done. We can start. No, we cannot. Uh, we should not start with that yet. We can just. We should put these things on before. Oil filter. Just. You just hand tighten that. Uh, doesn't need any bolts. And we need a distributor. Distributor. Here. That is a. Spanner 6. The distributor is Spanner 6. Um, is there anything with this thing? The fuel pump. There we go. So it's probably like a um, What is the fuel pump? It needs to be a span of five. No, it's not. Span of seven then. See, it's a span of seven. I knew it. <laughs> so, now I assembled that. Um, now we can put the cylinder head on. The engine head. Uh, the engine head or cylinder head is also a spanner seven. And uh, I will not be tuning this car myself. I'll just have Victoria tune it instead. Because I don't want to tune it. Then this car will explode. <laughs> because I don't know how to tune this car. I don't know how to tune the uh, carburetor. But to tune the carburetor, you, carburetor, you need the uh, fuel mixture gauge. Or fuel to air mixture gauge. Whatever. To see... Um, uh, To see uh, what's, what the ratio is, and it should be uh, fourteen point one. That's the best I've heard. So uh, the uh, um, rocker rocker ar the, these rocker arms here are spanner eight. Yeah, yeah, they are. Um, I can put the rocker cover on. That is a spanner six, I believe. No. Spanner seven. Always spanner seven. So the rocker cover is a spanner seven. I'm just gonna put the uh, spark plugs in. Because we can right now, since the engine is facing our way we're gonna turn around to put the uh, the uh, exhaust manifold and the uh, carburetor on so th this here is the spark plug wrench before in the game, or er earlier in the game, you could just hand tighten these and it would be perfectly fine. But now you... The it was quite a while ago, I think, they added the spark plug wrench. So yeah, now we can put the electrics in. Put on this here. I, I usually like to bolt this to the car. Our car is right here, so... Let me just put... Pull... Push it. That's what I meant to say. Push it a little bit in. Oh, and yeah, here is the uh, fire extinguisher holder. I put this thing over here and it flew all the way. I think whatever. Because now, because you can't put a you, in the front seat right here. You put a fire extinguisher. We're gonna do that. That or that is what we are going to do. Put the. Where did it go again? Um, isn't it? It's on the other side, yeah. There. Uh, it's not a spark plug wrench. Let's just move this engine there. See, spanner seven. 
Spanner 7 and we can tighten this bolt up here. But it's not a Spanner 7 for this one back here. I think it was like a Spanner 8 or Spanner 9. Time to reset the needs. Bam. Right, let's move the engine. There. Is this Spanner 6? No. Spanner 10. Okay, and the nut on the back of the alternator is Spanner 10. So let's move this one. A little bit like that. We need to adjust this later. Just tighten this one up. And... Yeah, now we are here, we can put the uh, header on. No. This way, I want it. But it's gonna autocorrect itself. This is a spanner... 7 or 8. It's 8. Yeah. The exhaust system is spanner 7. The exhaust pipe and the... Uh, um... Exhaust muffler, those are spanner 7s, but the manifold is spanner 8, as well as the carburetor. This one's also a spanner 8. Is there anyone? Is it just uh, those bolts? Oh, they're back here as well. Almost missed those. Alright, now we can put the... Where is it? There it is, the air filter. On. And now we can take the fan belt. Right there. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything else. Nope. Alright, so here's the simple method. The easiest method. Let's crack open the beer. <coughs> throw it out of the garage. So you take a beer case. can be the old one you have in a house or whatever, doesn't matter. Put this on the bottom of the engine right there. You need to turn the engine around. You want to put it. You want to adjust it. Almost. was a little bit too far behind. No, I don't need that. I don't need that. Yeah. There. want to cooperate. Damn. I know this works. I've done this once. Before. Oh, 
Ah, uh, this takes takes a bit of adjusting. Yo, go fast, 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 fast! Spinner eleven, spinner eleven, spinner eleven. Bam! There we go. Not even close. This engine can't. Not no. This engine cannot resist being put in the car. All right. So now we have the engine in the car. To celebrate that, a beer. And out the garage. Okay. Nice. Now we at least had the engine in the car. And next episode, or next video, we are going to be um, building or putting together the exterior of the car. But in this video, we're just going to be putting stuff in the engine bay and putting all this all in or, con or uh, and connecting these parts. Now we can just put in the radiator because why not? Oh, uh, no, no, or, or, what bolt is that? Let's put it, no, let's not put it there. Eight. Nope. Seven. Yeah, I knew it. Always a seven. <laughs> Alright, so let's, let's connect this up. There, now we can put the radiator hoses on. We can put the battery in also. There. A bit tricky sometimes. Um, oh, don't go. Oh. Come on. Oh, there, I knew you could do it. Alright, let's move this thing out of the way. I like to have it down here. So we'll have it down here. And we'll just move these parts here. So yeah, we have everything we need to make the car run. And we'll see if the car runs today. So hopefully the car will start and not explode. Let's put that there. The full jack there. Nice. That's just how I want it to be. Alright. Um, yeah. Uh, we need... And uh, this thing also needs... Alright, then uh, Earl's 8 as well? No. No, no, no. We had the... Uh, there. Let's 
taking these up. I think I turned on the wipers. Where are the wipers? There. Are. There. Turn them off. Quick there. <coughs> nice. Okay. Um. Now we need to. Oh, we forgot the starter. Uh -huh. Well, that's easy to put on. It goes in the front as well, so that's easy. Bullseye is probably like a... Probably the damn sevens. Yeah, I knew it. Alright, now we have the whole engine assembled. Now we need to put the radiator hose too on. Which goes there. Um... Now it's just this stuff. Put this thing up there. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's put this here, I guess. Which will take a while. We need to... Clutch lining. I saw you. The brake master cylinder and the clutch master cylinder. There. Let's jump in the engine. Those are probably like. And they eat. Don't roll the car, I wanna I need to sit there. Sit in the car so I can Alright oh, to fasten uh the uh master cylinders, the brake and clutch master cylinders to the firewall you need a spanner eight. And it's probably like, it's a span nine for the lines. No, it's probably it's probably a spanner seven again. I knew it. And a, and it's a spanner 7 for all the lines. And it's also a spanner 9 for the holder that holds the um, lines to the firewall. So let's just tighten these all up. Clutch line right here. Spanner 7. Tighten all of these. There you go. I think uh, I think that was all. Now we need to tighten the brake lines, which are behind right here. Spanner sevens for those as well. And we need to tighten those so we have rear brakes or rear and front brakes, so we can brake the car or brake. Not brake the car. We don't want to brake brake it, but we want to have brakes. Remember to tighten all of those, otherwise the brake fluid will leak and you will have no no brakes in the car. Right, so it dented the car up a little bit, but I know how to fix it for free. So you basically just uh, get a new mesh save. You put your Let's just fill this up. You put your uh, normal uh, My Summer Car game on your desktop. Then you uh, go into My Summer Car, create a new game. Then you and you need and you find the uh, save game at App Data, Local O, MS Tech, and then My Summer Car at save game. Then when a new save game has appeared, there you just take the mesh save and uh, copy that and put that into your into your uh, normal um, save game. The one you 
the one you are using. Then, um, when you've done that, you just delete the old save game. Not the one that you're gonna use, but the one that the one you used to get the uh, mesh save. Just delete that and then put your um, the original save game back in. When you do the one that you want to play, or the save game that you play on, and yeah, then you have a fresh car. There is videos. There is videos on YouTube about that, so you could just search that up. Now we have coolant in a car, now filling the oil, then we're gonna fill up gas, and the brake fluid and the clutch fluid. The uh, In the shelf there will be, it was a brake fluid, but that's also the clutch fluid, so. Yeah. And so, now we have that, let me check that it doesn't leak. There. You wanna see? It doesn't leak. And that reminds me of something. We have some bolts in the car. Or rather in the pedals. I think they're spare beats. And these bolts by the pedals here. They are spare nines. You need to uh, bolt those in. Otherwise the brake or clutch fluid will leak. So let's just take out one at a time. Oh, we have already filled. Okay. Probably because with the uh, bug cause I did the uh, right control F and then fill all the fluids. Let's just check all of them and see if all of them are filled up. Yeah. Oh no, the clutch one is not filled up. Oh, the clutch one is not filled up, man. Try to... Oh, I see one, I see... No! I see right here. Um, I spin right, spin right fast. There's a nut right down here. Right down the here. Here. Not a spanner. Not a spanner. Eight. Get my toolbox here. Spanner seven. And you know right here is spanner seven. I think that's the clutch. I don't know. It's been leaking. There. Fill all fluids. No, no. Where, where? Where did it go? Lost it. Yeah, there. It was leaking. Uh, so some of it leaked out. I just did the fill of fluid, so it took it took some time. To um, try to look. Right, now we'll take the Gas right here. No, 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 I hope it doesn't leak. So. Let's see if that fill of fluids filled up the gas. I think it does. Let me see, I could probably just go into my car now. Oh, it doesn't... See. 
it's probably filled up. Um, so we keep it there. Um, so if if it's not if if the car doesn't start, it's probably because of the uh, um, gas, or it's probably because there is no gas in it. I need the. There, exhaust pipe, I need this. There. To get our toolbox thrown thrown down. We need to get a toolbox thro thrown down here so we can grab our. We have the spanner 7. Good, good, good. Yeah, very nice. Now we can just pass this one up. Um, I think there are spanner sevens for the front as well. Yeah. The exhaust pipe is the is a spanner seven, just like I said. This car is coming along, very nicely. All right, now we need the last piece, the exhaust muffler. Yeah. This is also a spanner seven right up here where it bolts to the frame oh i'm so excited i'm so excited and i just can't hide Doo -doo -doo. all right pull handbrake all right oh we need the gear linkage also uh -huh. forgot that blah, blah, blah. let's go down here the gear linkage is uh, spanner five it's easy to build a car when you don't have any any uh, body panels on it. Because then you don't need to worry about they getting them getting damaged and stuff. So yeah, let's just put this one right here and apparently the orange spray can got pushed over. Alright, now sit in. Try to start it up. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. And it starts. It sounds terrible though. Alright, we'll pull out the choke all the way now. I think that will be enough so we can fix this irritating handbelt right here so you wanna you can see it squeals now you can see it squeaks now you wanna write it, have it right after See if I can uh, um, do any like can Disappear. Can't like headbutt through the. Uh, can't go through the and uh, the rock cover. Whatever. We don't need to know. where I found it. 
And yeah, we also need uh, to put a fire extinguisher in our car. Bam, there we go, perfect. No, we need the uh, fire extinguisher holder first. Which goes right in front of the passenger seat right here. You need to have that to do the rally. I don't think I'm gonna do the rally because I don't want to crash and die <laughs> in the rally. So let's fasten this up. It's two six millimeter bolts. Then just put the fire extinguisher right there. All right. Now we are. Final control F. Fix engine, fuel fluids, just like. See that all. It's all good. Alright. Are you guys ready to take? Yeah. Works. The carburetor is not too bad. It's like black smoke. Very bad. Right. There's black smoke coming out of it. We want it to be like more like white smoke. So we want to tune the carburetor somewhat. Not re we don't like really. We can't really tune the carburetor when we don't have the fuel to air mixture gauge thing. The other side. Gauge, it would be easier to just loosen it up a, a, a bunch. Uh, yeah. I will probably be good enough. to align the wheels I heard that you need to uh, when they're all the way out like this um, let's get them all the way out because, well, you need to go 60 clicks in One. Same for this side, so the wheels are somewhat aligned, like good enough to drive it to the mechanical least. Somewhat good. Right. Yes. I 
just put it in, in the car. I like to have it there. Nice. Alright, now let's sit a little bit more forward. There. And we sold it because we had the handbrake on. Ammattitaitoinen henkilökuntamme. Taimaa. Etelän puolesta tuulta 2-6. Oh yeah, my... We got my jam. My favorite talk show. I have no idea what they're saying. Kahden vuorokauden tääviä. It requires someone driving straight. on the back of the track right there. This is very important. Otherwise the uh, you won't the car inspection will not go. So let's have it in there. Turn 
not real. Go out. And yeah, I'm gonna end the episode in here. And yeah, guys, that was it. We built the engine, and yeah. So if you found this helpful and this again helped you build your summer car, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, just post it in the comments below. And if you want more my summer car videos, how to build the car or something else, just subscribe so you know when there's a new video. So yeah, that was it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.